Grant, today might feel like the start of a new journey, but I already belong to you. Today feels instead like we're finally going home. Change is coming. There's a light out from the sun. I didn't just fall in love with you. I walked into love and life with you in my eyes, wide open, and my heart in your hands. Emily Marie Horn. Some people spend their whole life searching for the person that they can't stand to be without. The person that leaves them breathless and full of butterflies every time they walk in the room. And I'm fortunate not to be one of those people because I found you. It was very sweet. <laughs> When you get the butterfly feeling and when you know, you know. Grant is truly my best friend and partner. It feels like home being with him. And I can see Emily, you look absolutely stunning tonight. And I can't imagine anyone else I'd rather have join our family or who would be a better soulmate for Grant than you. You're generous, selfless, loving, and kind. And I'm so excited to officially have a sister and be able to welcome you into our family. I remember this vividly, the first time we met Grant, and our initial impression of Grant being a mature, likable, confident young man has held true. He's smart, hardworking, always helpful, very positive attitude. <laughs> oh, that's cool. I'm like, if you grow, I grow. If you fall, I fall. If you are lost, I will be your navigation. Whether we're celebrating at the top or moving through the trenches, the most important thing is that I get to experience each moment along the journey with you. Beautiful, beautiful. You look Emily, she just has a, a loving and caring personality. She cares about everyone else. Has just made me more patient, kinder, more thoughtful, more giving. You're doing great. He's definitely just continued to show me how important family and love and friendship is. He is truly like the best support system and I feel like the best version of myself anytime I'm with him. You know, we talk about love all the time, like love, 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 but this is something completely different. <laughs> because this love is now drawing you to not just say, I want to be with you now, but I'm committing for the rest of my lifetime, and I hope to the rest of eternity, to be with you. It's a pretty amazing thing. I think the first time I saw her, just knew that she was someone that was worth chasing and worth pursuing, and just knew the second that I asked her out that she was the one I wanted to marry. Emily, even though you don't remember the first time we met, I do. I remember your beautiful brown hair, your sparkling blue eyes, and the way you took my breath away, the same way you do now. I will run, I will rise, I will grow, I will climb. To the I, I want to thank you all so much for joining us today. Seven years, one epic proposal, and a pandemic later, here we are. It means so much to all of us that you made the trip to celebrate Emily and Grant. To Emily and Grant, I wish you a lifetime of joy and happiness. I love you both very much. Grant, today, as I walk down the aisle towards you, I want you to know that I, Emily, vow to love you, encourage you, and respect you. With you to create a home, family, and life filled with learning, laughter, and compassion. I vow to be your number one advocate and help you pursue your ambitions no matter how big or small. I vow to give you empathy and compassion, sharing my thoughts, feelings, and emotions with you. For so long, I've dreamt of this day with you, 2,520 to be exact. Through the smoke, through the ash, through the flames, and it burns like a fire in my veins. 
today. I choose you to be my husband. I promise to work with you always to foster a relationship in marriage of equality, knowing that together we will build a life of love and happiness. Today I accept you as you are and all you'll be in the years ahead. I offer myself in love in return. I vow to always be ready to ask for forgiveness or forgive because in vulnerability there is strength. I vow to make your dreams my dreams and your problems my problems. I vow to be there for you in good times, snuggle you in anxious ones, and support you in rough times. Since the first time I told you I loved you on November 9th, to being able to tell you I love you every day for the rest of our lives, you were the reason then, my reason now, and my reason every day always. Your smile and laugh light up my world, and you make me happier than I could have ever imagined. More love than I ever thought possible. Grant. Will you have Emily for your wife? I will. Yep, you gotta wait. Uh, <laughs> okay. It's okay. E eager is good, but I'm gonna start over. Grant, will you have Emily for your wife? Will you love, honor, and comfort her, and cherish her alone that you may live together in the holy state of marriage according to the ordinance of God? I will. Put your trust in me, give me everything, I need your love tonight, so baby please don't fight it, put your trust in me, I'll give you everything, so hold Emily, will you have Grant for your husband? Will you love, honor, and comfort him, and cherish him alone, that you may live together in the holy state of marriage according to the ordinance of God? I will. Right here in your arms is where I want to be. So hold In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pronounce you husband and wife. What God has joined together, let no one put asunder. Amen. And now kiss the bride. I used to drop her off at school every day, and she'd grab her book bag and look at me and say, do I have everything? And I had no idea what she had. I had no idea what she needed to have. So I would say, yes, you have everything, Emily. Tonight, if I had the opportunity to tell Emily, if she asked me again if she had everything, I would say, Emily, you're a beautiful, talented young lady. You have the love of an amazing husband. You have an A++ group of friends, some fantastic siblings, and now an even larger family to love and support you. Emily, you have everything. To Emily and Grant, I love you. You two accomplish each other in so many ways and will make an amazing family together. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Vanderite. Now let's raise our glasses and cheers to these two. I love you two so much. Thanks for everything. I'm so excited that we're starting the next chapter of our forever together today. And I can't wait to be married to you. I will care for you, stand beside you, and share with you all the life's adversities and all the joys from this day forward and all the days of my life. I love you with all my love and heart, Emily.
we're all adopted, so. <laughs> I'm so sweaty right now.